Hello YouTube, this is Chesco for Stanley PKs. So welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with Minicom. Uh, Minicom is a text-based modem control and terminal illumination program for units like operating systems. I'm reading right here from the Minicom Wikipedia. It was modeled after Telex. Telex was a program that was very popular in the 1990s, MS-DOS. And uh, for some reason, it fell out of favor. But for Unix, now we have Minicom. Minicom is used a lot to, to, to uh, program and troubleshoot like Cisco devices, routers, and all kinds of stuff. You can use it also on the Raspberry Pi. Today, I'm going to be using it uh, with the BeagleBone Black. And I'm going to show you how you can use it um, in, you know, most of the time, you're running a, a, a big old bone either uh, through a serial over USB or you're running it wireless. Sometimes you cannot run it wireless. Either you don't have a wireless card or, or the LAN is down or whatever it may be. So you need something uh, that you, can, you cannot SSH into it. So you need something, another solution. Uh, because right now, as you know, if, you've, if it's running wireless, you, you can either use PuTTY or you can use, S if you're in Windows, or you can use SSH. That's the only way in. But uh, this is for those cases that you cannot uh, SSH into it. And I'm going to be showing you how to set it up. Actually, I set it up this way and I don't SSH anymore into my uh, BeagleBone because uh, it gives me more flexibility. And I'll show you uh, as we go along. So this is the Minicom page. Uh, if you want to download it on Linux, all you need to do is sudo up, get, install, and then Minicom. And then it's going to tell you that I already have it. And to run it, all you need to do, you have to have uh, super user privileges. So I'm going to go in order to make changes. So I'm going to go, if you open it just like that, this is what you get. Okay. And uh, you go into control A, Z, and then it gives you all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. I mean, uh, we can do many tutorials just on this stuff alone. But uh, today I'm just going to show you how to use it as a secure or as a shell. I don't know how secure it is, <laughs> but uh, as a shell. So I'm going to exit out of here by using Shift X. Leave it and say yes. Uh, sorry, what did I do? Control A, Z, Shift X, Enter. So now. I'm going to open it with another command. Instead of minicom by itself, I'm going to do minicom s. And this brings other things. This is if you're using file transfer protocols like FTP and things like that. That's for another tutorial. You're using modem and dialing. And, and there's all kinds of stuff. But right now, I'm just going to use serial port setup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to show you here serial device, TTI20, var lock, and this one is your baud rate and all that stuff. Hardware, don't worry about none of that stuff. Right now, the only thing that we're going to change is this. So in order for me to know which one to use, I need to plug my BeagleBone. Right now it's not plugged in. I'm going to plug in uh, just uh, my passport uh, drive. So you see, um, let me, first of all, let me open another terminal. And I'm going to do the message. And as you can see, uh clear this is only going to confuse you let me i'm going to put in my my passport hard external hard drive and plug it in 
and then hit the message again. Uh, the message, and there it is. That's my passport right there. Western Digital. And it's an old, old friend, you know. So it tells you this where it is. Uh, I'm just showing you this so you know how it works. Now instead of uh, plugging in, I'm going to turn in my uh, Beagle Bone now. And I'm going to do the message again. So now I just gave it power. It's booting. So let's give it some a little few seconds here to load. And if I hit the message again, now I still don't see it. Uh, let me try, try again. The message again. see what's going on here make sure it's all the way in the message again and there it is you got your beagle bone black and this is where it is at that device so it's the ASM zero so that's what I need to change here so now I need to go here and I need to do A, just hit A because that's what I'm going to enter and it automatically brings you there. And then I change it to A, C, M, zero. Hit enter. The bot rate, I'm going to leave it alone, but it's, it's 96 right there. So you can change it if you're doing troubleshooting, but that's, that's for another tutorial for now let's just leave it enter uh, enter alone and now here just save it as a dfl so that actually saves it and you can see configuration saved now you go exit and now automatically let me close this again so you see it from the beginning so now when i open my Minicom, Control Alt T, get you you're ready to go into your Beagle Bone instead of uh, SSH or instead of Putty. You go sudo Minicom, give you your password, you hit enter, and then right now you're in Minicom, but now if you hit enter again, you go right into your into your Beagle bone. So you put your name and then your password and you're inside. And as you can see, I'm inside. And now I clear LS CD and then CD. And there I am. I'm inside my Beagle bone. And I can do any changes that I want without, you know, that's that's the SOC system on ship uh, file. It's got all the boot stuff, all the bootloader, the SPL, the MLO, all that good stuff. The root file system, and that's your your inside. So clear. inside so this is how easy it is and then if you want to leave just exit and it brings you back into the thing all you need to do is close the terminal and it it kills the the connection and now if you try again control if you want to go back to default if you don't want to use this again all you need to do is uh, find a device that is in use. So for example, I can use like TTY20, any one of those. 
So you just have to have a real one. If not, it's going to give you an error. So you do, this is what you do if you want to go back to the default values. So you do sudo minicom s, give you your password, and it brings you back to this drop down. And now you just go A, enter, oops, A, and then just give it a device number. We saw one that was 20, and then hit enter, enter, and now save it as the DFL, configuration saved. And there you go. And now, if I exit, exit again now when I do sudo minicom instead of bringing me when I hit enter there's no shell anymore okay so that's if you want to go back to your default values but uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter, GitHub, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.